Hey guys, it's Ben, Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com. How's it going? Happy Wednesday to you. Hope your week's going great, mine's going swimmingly. Uh, and by swimmingly, I mean, uh, by that I mean we're getting a lot of rain. This weekend, uh, Ben and KH uh, are going to be down in Plano, Texas, and we're going to be visiting with uh, Saving Green, Cattle Lawn Care, Stet, uh, and a couple others. I don't even know who's going to be there. Uh, so I'm getting pretty excited about that. I love meeting my fellow lawn care guys, and uh, it's great uh, just pulling their ear and, and, and hearing it straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, we have a lot in common already, so I know that we're going to get along just fine. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, Danny, I wanted to let you know that I sent your shirt up. Karen didn't wash it. Uh, partly because she was afraid uh, that you might be allergic to Tide or something, but mostly because she's just really lazy and didn't wash it. It's on its way, and it should be there, uh, I don't know, by this weekend, I'm hoping. What are we doing today? It's so crappy and it's raining, what are we gonna do today? There's lots of stuff that we could do in this, in this shop. Uh, I got racks underneath that thing. Rob knows what kind of racks they are, don't you, Rob? And so does Danny. Uh, hopefully they won't tell you. Uh, very soon on a video upcoming, we're gonna reveal what kind of racks we got. Some of you guys already know, you've been paying attention. Uh, others are waiting, they're asking me, what kind of racks did you get? Well, you're gonna find out really soon, but not today. Today, you probably noticed over my shoulder that I got some gas cans up on the bar. Uh, we're gonna talk about the most mundane thing, uh, but a very important piece of equipment for a lawn care company. We're gonna talk about uh, gas cans. And in particular, we're gonna give you Acme's view on the Shear Can gas can because we used it this year. We used the five gallon iteration and we also used the 2.2. We use the 2.2 for our mix gases, uh, for our steel equipment and our blowers and stuff. And then we use the big five gallon just for extra gas for our mowers while we're on the job. Uh, full disclosure, uh, we started out the season with these old timey type gas cans right here. Uh, I had these on hand. In fact, I, I had probably six or seven of these guys on hand. So it's not like we needed gas cans at the beginning of the season, but I wanted to try something I was sick of spilling fuel, and I was sick of the way that these, um, the, the, the government made us put these non-spill features on. And with these non-spill features, I ended up spilling more goddamn gas than, than without them. So I needed to do something that I could get away from these dang nozzles right here. You know which ones I'm talking about, where you gotta push them in, and there's all kinds of crazy crap you gotta do to get the gas flowing. And then it creates a vacuum, and then it gets all messy. Uh, well, I was sick of doing that. so. Uh, I spilled gas all over my generators and uh, all my cars and all my equipment. So what we did is I did a little research and I bought two kind of gas cans. First of all, you'll notice that I don't have the no spill uh, gas can up here. It's the one with the little button and it's got a nozzle about that long. I don't have it up here because it didn't make it the whole season. Uh, it made it about two months. And then the, uh, the thing stopped working and it stopped dispensing gas. And then the whole thing started leaking. Uh, and I just tossed it. I just got fed up and I tossed it, guys. Uh, but I did buy these uh, sure cans. I bought these sure cans. I bought the five and the 2.2. And man, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty happy with them. And let me tell you why. And let me tell you, let me tell you what things to look out for too. Okay, first of all, let's do the full disclosure. How much did I pay for these things? Uh, well, I was talking about these basic ones, the basic cans that I got. I think I paid about 15 bucks a piece for them. You can get them anywhere, Walmart or Lowe's, or the cheapest ones around, and they're about 15 bucks. The problem that I found with these is that little rubber seal underneath, what you have to take this thing off all the time to fill them up, and that rubber seal starts breaking down. Uh, it starts flattening out and breaking down, and then you start getting gas leaking around here. And on top of that, you got this, you got this safety feature right here that has to be depressed, and you have to push that down. It's a, it's a whole certain thing with these basic gas cans. Uh, it's just a big pain in the ass and you end up making more mess than you did with the old cans before they tried to improve them. So don't like these cans anymore. Uh, I tried the, the no spill can and I kinda like the no spill can until the 
so the valve went wonky on me and wouldn't dispense any more gas. But the problem that I had with that is the spout was too short. So let me show you. On the mower, when I tried to uh, fill up our mowers, um, on, on the walker or on the stander, it wasn't too bad because that sucker's right out there in the open. And I could easily get the, the spout in there. But on this one, uh, for, for mowers like this one over here, uh, it's, it was a little bit more of a challenge because that gas cap is just far enough away from the edge that in order to pour the gas in there, <laughs> I ended up spilling it all the time, every single time on both of these mowers. I just didn't, I didn't like the no spill because the, 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 uh, the tube was too short. I couldn't get it in there and it wasn't flexible. So there was only one way that it could go uh, compared to the shear cans. Now the shear cans are awesome, I thought, because uh, you don't have to tip them over to dispense the gas. You simply remove the cap from, from the filler tube and then lower that filler tube right into your mower. You can hold it above it, you, you, any kind of angle. Uh, these cans are awesome for that. And they, they lead to less spilling. But let me show you something that I wanted to show you that just happened. Now, do you see that? I just tipped that thing down and that got wet. You know why that got wet? Because it's leaking gas. It's leaking gas out of that spout. And do you know why? Because there's a little hole right here. Ben, how did that little hole get onto your gas can? I would send that back immediately. Well, it wasn't sure can's fault. It's not their fault, guys. We didn't have racks for them last year. We got racks for them this year. And that sure can would sit back here and bounce around. Like, like I said, uh, and rub that nozzle down and put a hole in it. That's how that happened. Uh, we hardly ever tied them down. And by hardly ever, I mean almost never. And by that, I mean we never did it. We never, we never tied them down, ever. Uh, they just floated around in the back of our trailer all summer long, uh, and that's the damage that we got. Uh, so that damage on the sure can, 100% our fault. It, the spout itself ended up wearing a hole in it because it was rubbing up against the mesh on the side of my trailer. Uh, is that sure can's fault? No, it's not sure can's fault. Uh, it's my fault. But Ben, they should have made the plastic thicker. No, they shouldn't have. Uh, they made it just as thick as it needs to be. I think it's perfectly engineered. And the fault, the reason that that uh, ground through there was because of mine and JT's not tying them down, not taking care. Uh, so that's our fault. Um, so we're not holding that against SureCan. We're holding that against us, lesson learned. Uh, but we really like the SureCan because uh, to dispense the gas, once you have your spout uh, into your piece of equipment, with this hand, you can just uh, push this thumb, this safety valve through, and then you can push this down and it just dispenses gas. As you can see, it's dispensing it all over my floor right now uh, because I was stupid and uh, forgot to tell you, uh, well, I was stupid and I went ahead and, and activated it knowing that there's a, uh, a leak there. Well, so now we're gonna change the, uh, we're gonna change the whole scope of the video to, to hazmat. Uh, cleanup, hazardous material cleanup. I'm just joking. Um, I did spill gas all over my bar. Uh, it's a good thing that I'm not smoking anymore because this might be a problem. Um, it sure does smell terrible in here. So I already explained to you why we didn't go with the no spill. We did like it. It just stopped working for us and the, and the nozzle was just a little bit too small uh, for it to be very useful to us. Uh, especially the smaller cans, especially with the smaller equipment. Um, the small can, the small sure can, sure is great for filling up your, um, your hand tools, like your trimmers and your edgers that require that fuel mix. Uh, it's just small enough where you can uh, mix the fuel no problem with one hand, and it lasts for several days. A can this size lasts for several days. So there's really not the issue of filling up a can all the time like I used to do with my little one gallon can that you can see right there. Uh, and also on this one, uh, this one has the spout, you know which one I'm talking about. You unscrew it, turn around, put it on, then screw it back on, and then fill up your equipment, then unscrew it, put the spout backwards on it, put it back in, and then turn it on. Man, what a process. And you, got, you guys know uh, it, that it's all about shaving off those precious seconds and minutes throughout the week and uh, for profitability. And that, and, and that alone will make that can a more profitable, uh, the sure can 
uh, that alone will make the sure can more profitable over time than the one gallon, especially if we take care of it uh, and don't let it rub up against the side of our trailer. Uh, both sure cans, the 2.2 uh, variety and the five gallon work exactly the same with the trigger mechanism uh, and the spout, uh, rotational spout. And it rotates on a, on, on a single plane. It doesn't rotate outwards, it just up and down. Uh, so let me show you why it's so cool. So I'm gonna do this all with one hand because I'm holding you guys with my other hand. Now, we're going to go over and we're going to pretend like uh, we're going to be filling up uh, this blow or this, uh, this, this trimmer uh, right here. Uh, you can see that I could just undo that with one, with one single hand. I can hold, I can hold the shear can above it with the nozzle extended, put the nozzle in, hit the button, uh, fill it up, and just about the time it hits the top, release the trigger, uh, empty the remaining fuel that's in the nozzle. Rotate the dispenser nozzle up, and, and we're done. And it's that, it's just that simple. There's no screwing on another cap. There's no reversing the, the filler nozzle around so it doesn't leak all over the place. That's it. You put the nozzle back up in the upright position. Uh, it comes with a little um, cap that you can screw back on there, but we always find that we lose our caps after, you know, the first couple of weeks of owning them. Uh, so we're not doing that, but uh, we have found that these cans cause far less spills. They're far easier to use and it saves us a heck of a lot of time and there's no aggravation. Uh, so, sure can. Uh, do we like them? Yes, we do like them. We've used them all last year. Uh, we use these other ones too, uh, but we always, we always went to the sure can first. If there was gas in the sure can, that's the one that was being used. And that's why we're adding more sure cans this year. We're not gonna add, we're gonna get rid of some of those other ones because they're just, they're too messy and uh, they're just not as good guys. But you guys that are in the know that have looked up the prices on these things are like, but Ben, man, those things are expensive. What are they made out of gold? Uh, yeah, they are a little expensive guys. They are a little on the pricey side. Let me put my glasses on. I'm gonna tell you what I paid for our sure cans. Uh, well, let me tell you what I paid for this can. This can right here, the basic can that we're trying to get away from uh, I spent $15 and some odd cents. We'll just round it to 16 at Walmart. And that's a pretty decent can. It's a five gallon can. Uh, but the nozzle, like I said, all those issues. So we tried that. Then we tried the, then we tried the no spill can. And we did like, we did like the no spill can guys until the, until the thing malfunctioned on us. And I just was like, I'm not messing with that. Uh, and we couldn't get our money back. The store wouldn't give our money back. So I'm sorry. Uh, but no spills out just because of that. This is the 2.2 gallon sure can and the 2.2 gallon sure can was 40 bucks. I spent 40 bucks on that. It was 39 and some change. So 30, 39, 40 bucks on a 2.2 gallon. Uh, it's pretty steep, but man, worth it. I think it's worth it. Uh, how much did we spend on the five gallon? On the five gallon sure can, we spent almost 50 bucks just for the one can. It was like $48. We spent like $48 when we first got that can. And I was like, God, I can't believe I'm buying a gas can for 48 bucks. But I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna do it again this year because that can, uh, other than the spout uh, being worn through, and that's completely my fault. Uh, other than that, that can's been perfect. The triggering mechanism works perfect. I really like how little fuel I end up spilling. Uh, and they're just way more convenient for day-to-day -day use. So sure cans are a thing. Uh, sure can gets, uh, you know, top rates uh, from Acme Moen and Lawn Care because sure can uh, worked for us this year. Uh, those other cans also worked for us, just to be honest with you, they also worked, but they were a little bit more on the messy side. Uh, we ended up spilling a lot more fuel and it was more aggravating using them. So uh, for those reasons alone, we're, we're endorsing uh, SureCan. Uh, full disclosure, SureCan didn't send us anything. They didn't give us any uh, ca gas cans for free or nothing. We bought those with our own money at the beginning of the year. We were down at the GIE and we were walking around and we stopped by the SureCan uh, booth. And I was talking to the guy there and I said, hey, we sure do like your SureCans. We used them this year and they sure were handy. And the guy asked me, he's like, well, I'm glad you liked them. Uh, was there anything that you didn't like about them? 
And I told him the story about how we didn't take care of our sure can. It rubbed up against the mesh side on the trailer, and it wore a hole through the, uh, through the filler nozzle there. Well, the guy gave me two free uh, filler nozzles, and he goes, well, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, but it wasn't your fault. Uh, it was my fault. He was sorry to hear that, and he gave me the two free uh, filler nozzles, which, as you saw with my demonstration up there at the desk, or at the bar, I forgot to uh, I forgot to put it on there. Uh, what I'll need to do is empty that that can out into an empty can when I have an empty can, and replace the nozzle uh, that SureCan gave me. Uh, and to me, that is a company that's standing behind their products. They didn't charge me for it. They said, "Here you go. We're sorry to hear that you made that mistake and <laughs> ruined your nozzle. Here's here's a couple of replacements when you need them." So I really appreciated that. Uh, SureCan. Uh, way to stand behind your product. I, I appreciate it, and you're going to go on my companies that stand behind their product list below. You're joining a very small group so far. Uh, you'll be the third addition that I'll have made to that list. So, does Acme Moen think that SureCan is worth the uh, worth the buy? I do. I think it's worth the buy. If you guys want to see how they work, uh, you know how it how long it takes to fill up a mower and all that, I'm, I'm telling you that the flow rate is good. Uh, there are other videos out there that show all that stuff. I just thought that it, it wasn't necessary. Uh, we're here to give you our, our uh, opinion about the SureCan, and our opinion is, Acme Moen's uh, opinion is, that the SureCan's a keeper, and it's gonna be our official gas can going into the 2019 season, uh, for now anyway. Uh, going into the 2000. If we find something better, we certainly will have a look at it and try it out. But for now, the sure can is Acme's go-to gas can for the 2019 season. Okay, guys, so it's fridge fame time. Uh, normally, KH would uh, be helping me out today, but uh, due to the fact that she's not home from work yet and we need to get this video out, we got so much stuff to do before we uh, head out for the weekend this weekend, I'm gonna do the fridge of fame myself. Uh, and I apologize to 365 yard care and landscaping out of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, you don't have a pretty young redhead doing it and you don't have a uh, pretty old redhead doing it. You got a fat old gray and head old man doing it. So you're just gonna have to, you're just gonna have to like it. And if you don't, I'm very sorry. Guys, like I said, this is from 365 yard care and landscaping. Uh, out of Richmond, Virginia. I'm going to open it up and we're going to see what he has to say and what he sent us. It really smells like gas in the shop right now, you guys. I shouldn't have done that. I feel like an idiot, but I'm going to leave that on there so you guys can see what kind of guy you're dealing with, what kind of dummy you're dealing with. Okay, so 365 yard, yard care and landscaping. He sent us a door hanger. Uh, it says, let me show you door hanger and it says up to 50% savings see other side for details we're in your neighborhood beautifying it one yard at a time uh, and there he lists everything that he does the lawn mowing the mulching plant and tree installation leaf removal power washing mosquito control and snow removal uh, I'd be interested I'd be interested to hearing more about your mosquito control uh, maybe you can fill me in in the comments whether you need a license to do stuff like that Mosquitoes are a huge problem in Oklahoma, and I bet that would go over pretty big. Anyway, so here are the details on the other side, 365yardcare.com. That is his uh, URL, uh, which is awesome. That That is awesome branding right there, when you can get your URL the same as your, or close to your uh, business name. Curbside relief removal, save up to 50%. Okay, it says call us today for a free quote. Up to 50% savings, see other side for detail. Okay, so the savings is on the leaf removal. Save up to 50% on leaf removal. And I imagine that they have a couple of those flyers for different things, like relief removal or mowing and stuff like that. And there's a note. Oh, and a sticker, two stickers. Oh, no, these are cards, okay. These are cards. Here's the card from 365 Yard uh, Care and Landscaping. Uh, it's got his email address and his phone number and his name. Brent R. Hill. Uh, man, I like it. Those are nice cards. And the quality, too, the, the stock. I was commenting on a guy's card that sent it earlier. I buy 
Dude, I, I, buy our, I buy our cards from Vistaprint, and they are the cheapest things. You can just feel them, and they're just not quality cards. Now, they have everything on them that you need, but they just, when you hold them, they just don't feel quality. This card right here, you can feel it. It's quality. You paid a little extra for it, and I think that, that means something. That, that tells me something. That tells me that he cares about quality, and I might just hire this guy based on the stock alone or based on the quality of his card alone. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's the little things that make the big difference. Uh, and here's the note. Let me read the note. KH would be getting all over me for making this go too long. Uh, here's the note. It says, Ben, KH, and JT, hope all is well for you. Love your videos. Always fun of great info. Loved about getting, uh, let's see. Loved about getting better organized. One thing you might want to think about with the receipts. I have found that the uh, ink fades fast on gas receipts or from Lowe's, Home Depot, etc. So you might want to photocopy these or use an app that always allows you to take pictures of receipts and store them that way. I can't wait to see what 2019 will bring your way. Brett, 365 uh, yard lawn care and landscaping. Brett, I couldn't agree with you more. Those receipts, they fade quick. And that was one of the problems that I had last year when I was leaving them up on my uh, dashboard or on my center console. By the time I thought to put them up, they were all whitewashed out. I didn't even know what they were for. Uh, but Jay's Crazy Cuts, along with you, made a recommendation that I get the phone app and I take pictures of it with my phone. And I already use QuickBooks. And according to Jay's, and I haven't looked into this yet, but according to Jay's, I'm able to upload those uh, receipt photos directly to QuickBooks. Uh, and if I'm able to do that, then that's going to be, that's going to be what I'm using next year. But I do appreciate the, uh, I do appreciate the recommendation on how to improve stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, Brett, welcome to our fridge of fame. Uh, I will be putting you up on our fridge of fame. Uh, if there was, uh, if there was a KH here, I'd have her hum some fanfare music, but since there's not, you're just going to have to do, make do with me doing it. Okay, man, 365 going up on the fridge of fame under such notable yard care companies such as Plemons, Wes's Lawn Mowing, Texas Veteran, I think it's Power Outdoors now, Prey and Manus, Quick Cuts, uh, Lawn Crack, Tony's Lawn Care 7, Jim Bob's, Mid-Ohio Lawn Care LLC, Lawn Care Little Guys and Brian's. I'm going to put you right under Brian's Lawn Maintenance. All right, Brett, that's it. You're on the fridge of fame. Welcome to it, man. We're happy to have you. Uh, and it's about time that you joined us. Uh, and for you guys that aren't on the fridge of fame yet, send me your cards. You want to be on this fridge of fame. You want to be on the front. Don't wait until it's too late and get on the side. You don't want to be on the side. Uh, there's still plenty of room at the bottom, uh, but it's filling up quick. So get your stuff in. I wish you the same thing that I wish you week after week, guys. I hope that you make lots of money. Really, I do. Uh, make sure that you're loving each other because, man, it comes back tenfold. You love a little, you get a lot of loving in return. And peace. Always peace, guys. Peace is the most important. And we'll talk to you later. You have a great week. We'll see you Saturday. Hopefully in Plano.